Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be giving reviews on the TED Talks that I watched. First on the two that were required for this assignment and then on the three others that I have chosen. So what exactly are TED Talks? Well, TED Talks are simply a way of sharing ideas, inspiration, information, talent, and experiences globally through social media. All right, so let's start with the first review, which is on Sirkin Robinson's lecture about how schools kill creativity. To me, the main point of this lecture was that art is very beneficial and important in schools because art enhances literacy. And so when you combine the two, what you end up getting is a well-balanced education. Sir Ken also mentioned at the very beginning of his lecture the fact that we are creative beings and how we tend to be more creative when we're little but struggle to remain that way as we get older because as we get older and advance in our education we're taught to ignore our creative side you know the arts and focus more on math and science and literature and to me it's unfortunate it's unfortunate that our educational system is set up that way you know as one that doesn't really embrace creativity or encourages us to nurture that side of our being because the reality of it is we're not programmed that way we're not one-sided and so we're very creative it's part of who we are and so to be in a system that doesn't recognize that and undermines it and tells us otherwise is very damaging in a sense because I've always felt like a person has two sides you know there's the creative side and then there's the other side the academics whatever and both sides need to be well attended to in order for a person to have not just a well-balanced education but just a well-balanced life in general so when giving his lecture, Sir Ken incorporated a lot of personal stories, comparison, and humor. And all of these things really made uh, his message effective because they had something that, or the message had something that people could relate to. One of the stories that I related to on a personal level was the one he told of the famous choreographer named Julian Lin, whose parents thought that because she wasn't doing well in school and focusing that she had a, something wrong with her. And so they took her to a specialist and long story short, after observing her and what she was doing, with music and how she was reacting to music the specialist came out and simply told them that there was nothing wrong with her and that she was just a dance dancer by nature and i can relate to that because i've been told in the past by many school advisors and counselors and others that you know what i wanted to do wouldn't guarantee me a successful life you know i was told that anything involved in the arts and music wasn't really wouldn't get me a career but lucky for me i never really listened to those comments and i've always just kind of went with what i was happy doing and was good at doing now as far as humor goes sir ken it's a bit of a comedian. I mean, he was very funny and he connected very well with the audience through humor because he used it creatively and appropriately. He used it purposefully, making sure that it related to the topic and didn't distract from his main idea. And he kept it very short and simple, which I appreciated and I think his audience members also appreciate it because there's nothing worse than carrying on a joke for a long time and wearing out its effect so I really enjoyed the fact that he would he kept them short and simple moving on to the second review which is on Shimamanda Ngozi Adichie's video about entitled we should all be feminist 
In this lecture, Shima Manda used a lot of personal stories, experiences, and comparisons. She used comparisons to talk about the difference in the way men and women are generally perceived in society, most specifically in her Nigerian culture, and also how the different sexes, men and women, view and interpret the word feminism as a whole. whole. She used, like I mentioned, personal stories to talk about her own experience, ex being labeled as a feminist as at a young age and also the negative baggage that most often comes with the word feminism. Overall, I really enjoyed Shimamanda's video. I thought it was very professional. She came well prepared, prepared and she delivered. The mood was light, but it was also very serious at times because it was on such a heavy and controversial subject matter. The way that she delivered also showed that she wasn't just there to inform, but to also empower women and encourage them to not be afraid of being labeled a feminist because, I mean, after all, feminism is not a bad thing if it serves its right purpose. That's how I see it. So here are the three other videos that I have picked. The first one is called The Lady Strips Bear by Tracy Spicer. That's how she says it. The second is called Programming Your Mind for Success by Carrie Green. And the third is called Have the Balls to Follow Your Dreams by Diana David. In The Lady Strips Bear, Tracy Spicer, the speaker, suggests that the amount of time and energy we women put into being perfect and looking beautiful affects their productivity, well-being, and happiness. What I liked about this lecture was the title itself. I mean, it was a good attention grabber. And when I saw it, it just made me curious to find out exactly where the subject was going, was going to go. I also liked the speaker's approach. She began the lecture in a very interesting way. She began it with this one person act of herself demonstrating the pro process of getting ready on a daily basis for a typical woman. It was very well done and it was also a good attention grabber for me because I think, again, it was something that most of her audience member could relate to. Her appearance on stage was also very wonderful. Um, it conveyed her as a great self-confident and professional speaker. And she was well-dressed, you know, nothing too over the top, very simple, very elegant, not distracting at all. And so her appearance to me really stood out as well on stage. In the next video, entitled Planning Pro Programming Your Mind for Success by Carrie Green, Carrie talked about the importance of programming the mind for success and the three ways of doing so. The first way she suggested was to find your passion, your goals, and then figure out what it's going to take to achieve those goals and then stay on track and keep pursuing those goals no matter what. What I liked about her lecture was the fact that it was well organized and presented. The flow of it was just very well, well given. Um, I also liked the fact that she incorporated a lot of her personal experience. I think it made the lecture seem very authentic in a sense. And she just had a lot of good facts and you could tell that she had put a lot of work and research and planning into her speech because it seemed so effortless. Her expressiveness was also another thing that I thought was good and her tone of voice really showed that she was also very engaged and interested in what she was saying. 
a little bit too much though because at some point she started to talk really quick in that sort of high pitched voice a little bit but not too much but I could sense the speed <laughs> so um, that was one thing that was a bit distracting in a sense but overall her speech was very well given and very well um, received as well because it was informative for me and helpful for me as well and finally in the last video entitled have the balls to follow your dream by diana david she talked about how important it is to not listen to what other people are telling you to do but just follow your heart and this video was my favorite because it really just i mean her enthusiasm on stage was very very impressive and just the way she told her story and the means through which she through which she told them was just very, very creative. And you could see that she was having a lot of fun and engaged and excited and just really into what she was doing. I mean, she did all sorts of things. And the one of the things that caught my attention that really kept me engaged from the very beginning was the fact that she had mentioned that she went to clown school. And I have never heard of clown school before. And so when she said that, I became engaged immediately. And I just thought that was very cool and very interesting. And, you know, she does shows. That's her profession. She She's a clown. She does circuses. And she, I mean, I'm not sure what the word is for that exact profession, but you know, she was talking about how she does birthday parties and you name it. And she just goes and she performs. She'll do her dancing. She's a great dancer and she'll do her juggling. And so it was very, very fun to watch her on stage and really see how enthused she was about doing what she loved to do most. And Another thing was the way she sort of delivered the message about following your dreams and the importance of following your dreams. I mean, the way she spoke of it to the audience, it was as if she was sort of trying to sell them this idea of following their, you know, following your dreams. I mean, and that if you took it, it would be the best thing you ever invested in. I mean, she just presented it in such a way that made me feel like she was, you know, it was the idea that she was trying to really sell. And I felt like if I was somebody who was in the audience who wasn't sure of what to do or who had been told so many things and to be this and what not to be. And if I was sitting in there and listening to her, I that would have changed my life. I think I would have gone home and just ignore everything and just started pursuing my dreams. I mean, that's how effective her message was and that's the kind of impact it had. And so it was wonderful because again, it felt like going back to being somebody who wasn't sure of what to do or who was trying to gain approval from others it really was kind of like that one person standing there in front of you giving you approval to do something that you really enjoy doing i mean that's kind of what it felt like and all i could think of when i was watching her was just thinking back to the times where i was trying in that position you know trying to figure out how to follow my dreams and when to follow my dreams and i was just watching her on the video and it was almost like she was encouraging giving you permission to go ahead and saying to you hey it's okay go ahead and do what you want to do enjoy it have fun and be happy i mean it was just very powerful and i know i'm going on about it but i really really enjoy that video because I could really relate to it and I felt I felt connected to her as a speaker in such a way that's just so unexplainable so that concludes my segments on TED Talks thank you all for watching and until next time bye